Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I want to show you how to clean Dr. Brown bottles because these bottles are very good. They're very prevalent. We have tons of them and they have a problem. They're very hard to clean or so they say. I have actually found a really awesome, super easy and super effective way of cleaning these bottles and making them look like new. So if you want to see how to clean these bottles and make them look brand new yourself, stick around. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you all of the materials that I use to clean Dr. Brown bottles. So the first thing that I use is Baby Ganex foaming dish and bottle soap. This is extremely convenient because it's pump, like it pumps, and it's foaming, so it makes a lot of bubbles and they're really good. Um, I've used other brands, but this seems to be like the one that I prefer, not only because of the super convenient pump, but also because they do a very good job at cleaning the bottles and like getting all of the residue out. The second thing that I use is this Munchkin um, brush. And the reason why I use this one is because it has an attachment over here that makes it really easy to clean. Like this is for the nipples, so it makes nipple cleaning very, very easy. And this is for the bottles themselves. And they all come in like a one pack, so it's extremely convenient and I really, really like it. The third thing that I use is a Dr. Brown cleaner. These come in a pack of four. I am leaving links to these products on my description, so if you want to see how much they are and where you can get them, just go ahead and follow those links. They're all on Amazon, free shipping if you have Prime. If you don't have Prime, go ahead and get 30 days free Prime right now. These are $4 for four of them, so I have been using this for solid like four months and it's still pretty good. So these are cheap. And the final thing that I use is this cleaning rack. So I use this to hang my nipples and all of my little things and I use this just to put the bottles. I'm going to show you exactly how I use this. This is extremely convenient because I hate putting my bottles in the dishwasher because they just smell weird. I, I just don't like it. So these are the products that I use. I've linked them all in my description and now let me show you what my process is. Alright, so this is what I do. These are the dirty bottles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them apart completely. So I take every single part out. These comes in two parts, so I remove them and I just put them in a bowl. Like I grab any bowl from my kitchen and I just put them in the bowl. Dirty, so they don't have to be clean, just dirty. And then I remove this green part, I take it apart in two, also put it in the bowl and leave this for later. And I'm not cleaning everything right now. I'm just putting everything in this bowl. So I had three of these. So I put everything in the bowl. They're ready to be clean. And then I turn on the hot water for one second. I just like put a little hot water in them. I mix them around and then I drain the hot water. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that um, they're a little wet so that the residue comes off easily. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning these tubes, which are the hardest to clean. So what I'm gonna do is now that there is hot water in them and they're kind of runny, I'm gonna pump a little tiny bit of this Baby Ganex foaming dish soap in them. And I'm going just to just run a tiny little bit of water on each one of them. And then I'm gonna grab my bottle brush, my Dr. Brown bottle brush, and I'm gonna go like this from both sides. from the top and from the bottom. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna remove all of the residue from the inside. And then I'm gonna open again the tab of hot water. I'm gonna pour hot water in them and I'm just gonna leave them in my bowl again. So that's the process for these. Then the little attachments that come in that tube are also gonna be clean with this. So this is already gonna have soap because of the one that I pumped in directly into the bottle. So what I'm gonna do is with the same one, I'm just gonna clean these from the inside and here because I can't imagine this being very clean if you don't brush it. So I definitely brush it a lot and go around this little area and then I just throw everything in my bowl. Here in my bowl and that's done. And then finally I grab my nipples. The nipples, I'm not gonna clean with that. I'm gonna clean with this attachment from the Munchkin um, bottle cleaner. 
So this takes, comes apart and it comes with a little brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pump a tiny, I'm not even gonna pump, I'm just gonna get the residue from this bottle. I'm just gonna get it in the nipples and I'm going to scrub them with this nipple cleaner. You see? Very well done, very clean, and that's it. So once I have all of the little pieces in my bowl, I'm going to grab my Baby Annex Foam Condition Soap and I'm going to pump it twice. And then I'm gonna run the hot water until it's really, really hot. It has to be boiling hot. If you can, you can also boil water in like a kettle or something, but I just use the really hot water from the tap. And then I'm going to get this, let me show you, look. So it's gonna be like super foamy and like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna start with the actual bottles. So this is what our bottles look like. They're still dirty. What I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the residue from the bottles, like the remaining formula or breast milk. I'm just gonna pour it in the water in the drain. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of water on each one of the bottles. And I'm going to just go like this with my hand. And I'm gonna do this a couple of times just to remove all of the formula or breast milk from the bottles. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump once. Well, let's just work with this one. I'm gonna pump it once and I'm gonna put hot water in it. And it's very important that you do hot water because hot water is what's going to um, allow the residue that's gonna be stuck in the um, in the bottle to come out. So the hot water mixed with the dish soap are gonna be the ones who are going to get all the stuff out, out of your bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna like turn, turn it around, flip it around like this, kind of like a, like a washing machine. And then I'm gonna put hot water, really hot water, and then I'm gonna fill them up with hot water and I'm just gonna let them rest for a couple of hours just like I'm gonna do with my um, little pieces. So I have my little pieces here, they're chilling over here. I'm gonna have my bottles over here and in a couple of hours I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do step number two.